Can everybody hear us? Better. <laughs> We're really here today to honor uh, our very own Brummy, uh, Jasper Carrot, with Whee! the tram naming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, what a pleasure, obviously, and because uh, I'm standing outside the council house, and my brother's got his name down for one of these. <laughs> and, and of course, it's very appropriate that the tram is in blue and white. Yeah. Yeah. It could double up as a Birmingham City team coach. <laughs> yes, but the trouble is there's not enough room for all the passengers. We were going to have a, a champagne bottle to smash against it, but the driver drank it all. <laughs> you haven't got a bloody clue, have you? No, no. <laughs> Over 70 years ago, this is very true, over 70 years ago, I actually took a tram from Birmingham City Centre to go to Hansworth Wood. I was three or four years old, uh, and, it, and it took about five days. <laughs> so today is the, is, is, is the first time I've used a tram in Birmingham for over 70 years. So that's, that's quite a milestone for me. Seriously, it is a, a, a wonderful honour. I mean, I, when I said, you know, I had an OBE, yes, fine. But when I get recognition from this city, this is the city I was born in, I was bred, and I've never, ever left it. I live 12 miles from where I was born, Acox Green, if anybody's interested. Hooray! And uh, it's twinned with itself. <laughs> and, and to think that a raggy-ass kid from Acox Green can get a wonderful honour to be named after a tramp from Birmingham, the place that I love, and I love the people, and I, I, and I, and I do the level best I can to try and give it as much publicity, and I can't tell you how much it means to me to have my name on one of these wonderful vehicles. Thank you. Today is a massive day for us. It's a huge honour to be able to name a tram after uh, Birmingham's finest uh, comedian, Jasper Carrot. Um, clearly means a lot to him too, so we're really honoured to be able to do that. And today is also particularly special because we are able to test the tram up um, and getting ready for our opening in, in mid-December, where we'll go here through Town Hall stop and then out uh, to Centenary Square. Um, it's fantastic for the city. This is the first tram system in the UK to run without overhead wires. There's so, so many nations are represented here and we all get on together and we all appreciate everybody's culture. You know, music, food, restaurants, art, and it's it's a fantastic city to live in. And and I bring people here, and I take them round all the sites. You know, the the library, you know, the pen museum. You go to the jewellery quarter, and people are gobsmacked because they didn't know. And and the trouble is, Birmingham tends to keep things to themselves. You know, I, I say Birmingham is the kitty city. K I T Y. Keep it to yourself. And we don't we don't have to anymore. We can we can bring people here with a tremendous amount of pride because of what we've achieved. So you've got the star, you've got the tram, you, are we looking forward to um, like Jasper Carrot planes like flying yes, over? And yes, why the not? And, um, well, I think I'd, they could name a drain cover after me. I can, even Black Sabbath haven't had a drain cover named after them. So come on, let's, let's, let's think big. Comedy has moved on now to the point where whatever you want in comedy is now represented. So if you want it dirty, fine. If you want it subtle, fine. If you want it political, whatever you want now, comedy is like music. It's catered for. And that's come about since, uh, since 19, well, the late 70s. Uh, and I'd like to think I was part and parcel of that sort of revolution.